So Call of Duty out here, the official Twitter account, YouTube account, the whole nine, running a little damage control, talking about how Intel in the field only scratches the surface. All of this is their fault, by the way, Activision's fault. But talk about how Intel in the field only scratches the surface. Make sure you tune in for God Next. Listen, Activision, Call of Duty, we pretty much seen the entire, well, we, the beta build anyways, we've seen the game. <laughs> It's there. It's everywhere. Obviously, I can't put gameplay in this video because you guys know anybody with half a brain would know the reasons why I can't do that. But we got so many like channels, 50 subs, 100 subs, whatever. Just a lot of channels that Activision does not care about. They got full gameplays up, hour long gameplays. Like pe people are out here going crazy, man. If you got a jailbroken PS4, or if you got just a PS4, PS4 Pro laying around your house and you feel like jailbreaking it, there is tutorials on YouTube that will show you how to do that. Anybody with a jailbroken PS4 can play this joint right now. And probably even after the public beta gets shut down, you're probably still going to be able to play this shit. Activision uploaded the game to the PSN database. And I've been pretty critical so far on what we've seen. That changes a little bit with more gameplay that I'm seeing. And I'm not even trying to see this gameplay, dude. It's just, it really is everywhere. When I say it's everywhere, I mean, dude, you don't even have to try it. You don't even have to search it to find it. These videos will be recommended to you as soon as you sign on YouTube. The gameplay is everywhere, dude. And I'm watching some of this gameplay. And the funny thing is, too, is I, I don't watch people for gameplay. If you still watch commentary channels and all that for gameplay in 2024, you've lost the plot a long time ago. It's all the same shit. This game, all the gameplay you see in these videos, it's all the same gameplay we've been seeing for years, man. I'm watching these motherfuckers out here that act like they're Call of Duty gods, okay? Everybody who doesn't like skill-based matchmaking, they're trash. Oh, you support reverse boosting? It's because you're trash at the game. And you watch these motherfuckers gameplay and it's like, dude, it's the exact same gameplay I put up when I'm out here in my videos running at like 50 or 60%. Like, <laughs> but you're talking like you're a Call of Duty God though. You look at the caliber of enemies on their team, the caliber of enemies I have in my lobbies and my gameplay, there is no difference other than they're sweating a little harder. They're holding down a few more head glitches than I do. And I actually just try to play the game, you know, because you buy a game to play the game not get picked up by a pro team only real men out here sweat until they pass out in a pub like that's what these nerds are man only real men sweat until they pass out in a pub motherfuckers don't even know how to do an oil change on their own goddamn car talking about how real men sweat until they pass out in a pub man nah i buy a game to play the game so that i they i might get like two more extra deaths in my gameplay than these nerds do and they're playing at 100 percent I'm out here at 50-60%. There's not a single gameplay I have on this channel where I'm at 100% in full try-hard mode. That's not gaming to me, bro. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So I'm watching these gameplays, and these dudes are some straight buns. Cheeks. Like, these, these dudes were making the gameplays we were seeing. They were making the game look worse. They were that bad at the game. And it's funny because I'm told out here by a lot of Activision shills, Call of Duty nerds, fanboy, super fanboy nerds, that skill-based matchmaking doesn't matter anymore. Leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. Everybody's just good at these games now. How much gameplay have you guys seen on Black Ops 6 so far where you're just like, dude, I, I wish this motherfucker was in my lobby. Why can't he get in my lobby on the opposite team? Like, watch me drop this nuke ring. <laughs> like, dude, just put them in my lobby, please. I ain't got time to reverse boost like these nerds do out here. Put these nerds, though, in my lobby. We'll have a great fucking time. <laughs> but anyways, these people with the super early leaked Black Ops 6 gameplay, it was like they were going out of their way to make the game look worse. We know Twitter compression. We know it's on PS4. But, like, even the recording, like, their gameplay looked horrible. You know, they got enemies on their screen for, like, a full second or two before they even notice them, man. It's like, dude, in my lobbies, you're getting beamed as soon as you sprint across that window. Never mind stopping in the window, aiming down sight, looking out. You got an enemy standing right in front of you just a little bit over to your right for, like, a whole two seconds. And it takes you that long to notice them. Like, just, <laughs> and whatever they were recording on, man. Like, we're talking, like, 480p and shit. Just making the game look like ass. Well, now we got a bunch of gameplay out here now with people actually competent 
on the sticks and they actually have some decent recording equipment and the game doesn't look it looks better i'm not gonna say it looks great because there's still i have a lot of concerns there with this game but it, it it definitely looks better like i'm not i'm not hype i am hyped for zombies though man if you guys have seen the intro cinematic for one of the zombie maps they dropped yesterday i actually think they're dropping some zombie gameplay tomorrow I, I might be wrong on that don't completely quote me but i think they might be dropping actual gameplay zombie gameplay i am hyped for the zombies I, i'm really digging the vibe they got going on with it and you guys know i haven't really been keeping up with the storyline and all that for zombies since about black ops 3 is kind of when i tone that shit back like i don't think i'm ever gonna be as hyped for zombies as i was for like mob of the dead coming out like we were all hyped for black ops 1 before that drop we were all hyped for black ops 2 as well and then we got transit you know i, I didn't hate transit man but transit like it it was lacking okay but i don't think i'll ever be hyped for zombies again like i was mob of the dead or even origins man remember how hyped we were for origins and mob of the dead like i, I can't ever see hype like that again even though i think black ops 3 is probably the best the pinnacle of zombies the best overall zombies experience we've had in a call of duty game that was just when i kind of slowed down on it i don't think i'll ever reach that hype ever again but i am genuinely hyped for the zombies i'm really digging what they got going on the storyline looks interesting hopefully these maps are good they're bringing back the doctor edward richtofen richtofen probably my favorite zombies character so that's cool it looks like he's gonna be the main villain of this zombie storyline all that is cool man so the zombies i'm hyped for the multiplayer not so much at first what i seen i really wasn't feeling it man i thought that shit looked like ass what i'm seeing now now that we got some better recording equipment you know we're seeing like how the game actually runs with people who actually know what they're doing on the sticks a little bit i i do like what i'm seeing a little bit better but i'm still i'm worried man i'm concerned for this game for the shit that i've been saying this whole time though like we got nerds out here who hate x defiant they hate that game with every cell in their body actually they hate on me for not hating on the game even though x defiant i've said this in all my videos man x defiant is not where it needs to be it, it just ain't there right now but i support what they're trying to do they're out here preaching no skill-based matchmaking in regular pubs i want to support that do i have a ton of fun on the game like yeah sometimes i do man most of the time when i'm on the game i'm fucking bored bro like all the maps we have there in x defiant everything we've seen except for two maps and a couple of fucking a couple of factions we've seen everything over a year ago in the closed betas and alphas like everything is the exact same and we got directional bunny hops over there and ridiculous snipers and shit the game is just the game is not there man this is what i say in all my videos but people think i'm like this x defiant fat boy or something man. are you kidding me i'm out here literally saying in my goddamn videos you want to see x defiant succeed for the other games that you're playing these fucking smooth brain morons out here watching cod youtube videos they don't seem to understand that though it just it doesn't make sense to them but anyways these nerds hate x defiant ran back to the safe spaces matchmaker protection they have in call of duty talk about how black ops 6 is going to kill x defiant and this and that and i told him i said listen man if you think the matchmaker the cut if they don't dial it back the matchmaking the cod has with this omni movement bullshit if you don't think that's going to be a problem you're in for a rude awakenings you see these motherfuckers some of this gameplay i'm seeing though these dudes are doing like bunny hop like dolphin dive like kind of backwards though and they're doing into a booty slide backwards like these motherfuckers are really out here doing ass backwards booty slides bro and these motherfuckers are actually hyped about this shit they think this is good gameplay like we i see the gameplay of some nerd with a snipe of course he's got a sniper and he's just doing like the max pain fucking sideways dolphin dive and he's quick scoping people like dude i watched this one clip and this dude he starts lighting dude up dude was in front of him i don't know like 10 or 15 feet away or something like that so he starts lighting him up this motherfucker does this max pain to the front but just a little bit over to his right he does the max pain dolphin dive and then he lands where his gun is just perfect it's in perfect position just to light the dude up that was shooting him so he does his little max pain bunny hop and then he just destroys the dude that was lighting him up because he was just able to fuck his camera up man the dude couldn't adjust in time oh it's a skill issue man Nah, it has nothing to do with a skill issue dude 
Some of this shit just shouldn't be in these fucking games. We got dudes out here doing ass backwards booty slides. If you don't think there's going to be a problem with Call of Duty's matchmaking, you're lying to yourself. These straight virgins out here. Look, mom, I'm a movement god. <laughs> like, this shit should not be in a Call of Duty game. Do you see real soldiers out here doing this type of shit with real rifles in their hands? No, you don't. Yes, an arcade shooter. You don't need it to be realistic, but come on, man. Call of Duty, just be Call of Fucking Duty. We don't need this extra garbage for all these virgins so they can brag about their KD and shit to their little friends. We don't need this garbage. I think it's going to be a problem. I think a lot of people are not going to mess with it. I think the people that are going to mess with this Max Payne fucking dolphin dive shit and doing 360s in the air and on their belly and all that, I think it's going to ruin the game on a lot of people that don't care about this nonsense because we can't even turn shit off, bro. I'm not trying to fight some fucking virgin dragging his ass backwards on a mat. That, that's not appealing to me. It's just another a stupid gimmick to sell the game to appeal to these grinchy ass super sweats that's just going to piss off your average player people like myself that work and you got a family and all that we don't want to see this shit dude it, it looks like it's gonna be rage inducing but anyways that's all i got for this one we're gonna i was gonna speak on some couple more things but we got that zombie gameplay tomorrow so i'll probably save that for tomorrow's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will talk to you on the next one